Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to create symbols in SimSolid. For the purpose of the demonstration, we are going to use this subframe model. To create symbols, pick connections in the project tree and then use create symbols dialog box. There are four different approaches to creating symbols in SimSolid. You can choose to create wells between a master part and a number of mate parts. You can also create wells between a group of parts in SimSolid. You can create wells by lines or edges, or you can also create wells from solids. In this video, we're going to learn how to create wells using all the four approaches. Now, before doing so, let's quickly review the assembly. I have a subframe structure with 69 parts with eight bowls, four nuts, and 15 sheets recognized. I also have a number of wells represented by solid bodies and also named uh, accordingly in the project tree. As a first step, we're going to try and convert these solid bodies into seam well representation in some solid. To do so, go back to connections, go to create seam wells dialog box, and use the fourth tab to create well from solids. There are two approaches here. One, you can either pick a solid body from the, from the interface directly, or you can also use a keyword to filter these well bodies. Let's use the second approach. Use a keyword weld and filter all the parts. Now let's find wells from these solid bodies. Some solid is going to try and suppress these and then create a steam well representation implicitly. Some solid successfully created 38 wells. We're going to accept it. And they're going to be created with a section size of 3 millimeters, which can be changed if required. We can also quickly review these wells. You can see how the wells have been created between various parts in the assembly. But if you zoom into some of these brackets, you will notice that there are a few missing wells. So we're going to try and create these wells manually. So let's go back into create seam wells option and use the well by lines or edges. So I'm going to pick lines on these brackets here. And then create wells in those regions as well. So I have two wells created continuous weld on the left side and also on the right side. Similarly, we're going to try and create welds on the other side of the frame. But this time, let's use the master and mate part instead. So I'm going to pick this as my master part, pick this particular bracket as my mate part, and then find welds. Now you will see that SimSolids created additional welds. We can choose to delete uh, any wells if required. So SimSolid managed to create wells on the other side of the bracket and also the bottom side. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these two wells and delete them. Then we can go ahead and accept the other wells. So again, we have used a different approach, which is a master and mate part approach and created wells between these two brackets with a section size of three millimeters. The last method that we're going to see here is using the group weld option. In cases where you don't have welds represented as solids, you can also use the group weld option to create welds between a group of parts. Before that, let's go ahead and delete these seam welds. I'm going to delete all the parts associated with them as well. I will go back to the create seam weld dialog box and pick the group weld option. The group weld option, you can pick the entire assembly or only a part of assembly. There are two inputs to it. One would be the section size of the weld. And there's also a minimum length requirement uh, to create seam welds. So in this case, SimSolid is going to create a weld only if there is a minimum length of 25 millimeters between two parts. Let's go ahead and find wells. In a matter of few seconds, some solid is going to go ahead and find 
124 wells in this particular assembly. I'll accept it. And we can also again go back and review them. Some solid did not create a weld in this region because of the, the, the length uh, of the feature line between these two parts is less than 25 millimeters. In those cases, you can always choose to create a manual weld uh, as well. We do have a few bowls and nuts in the model as well. And we don't want to really weld these parts. So what we're going to do is create a contact based connection between these parts. And to do so, again, go back to connections in the project tree and use automatic connections. But when you're creating automatic connections, make sure to check this option to connect not welded parts only. This way, you're not over constraining the model. You're creating these connections only between parts that are not welded. Let's go ahead and accept it and also review them. And you'll notice that the connection, contact based connections have only been created between the bolts and nuts and the parts around them. So this way, you can very easily create welds in SimSolid and also use automatic connections to create contact-based connections between other parts. Thank you.